what's necessary to receive it. Because it's not an empty seat. And Allah is inspiring, go sit with these uh, people of perfection. Perfect yourself, I'm about to dress you with something. So it's the willingness on our side to do what's necessary to be dressed by their perfection. In these days, it's based on polishing. Because we have to do our zikr and our umrah and polish, polish, polish. Learn how to keep their love, their muhabbat, and train yourself how to always keep the shaykh within the eye of the eye and the eye of the heart. That I'm always with him, always accompanying him. And that hudur, that presence, will begin to dress us, dress us. As much as we're polishing, that's the concept of mirror. So all the satellites, all technology is based on mirroring. It's as much as I polish and I keep the love of pious people, their souls are, are light, their souls are, are divinely dressed by Allah they begin to send their reflection onto a polished soul. A soul with no zikr and no, it still receives these lights. But the soul that's constantly polishing, means that it opens the heart, brings tranquility to the heart, it begins to polish the soul, becomes shiny. So as much as then these holy souls reflect unto us, we begin to shine. That's why Prophet said, make salawat on me. So one salawat on Prophet gets ten salawats from Prophet back. What do you think comes in that salawat? What Prophet doesn't come empty handed. It's the, the light that Allah is giving the most amazing reality. That light of Prophet comes back to give ten praisings upon our soul. One of them we have no imagination, no understanding of what's loaded within that salawat from Prophet Let them come empty, it comes filled with light, filled with blessings, filled with everything the soul could ever imagine to ask for. Prophet is living, is giving, is giving. Imagine then the souls that are all day long praising all day long, just busy with the salawat on Prophet Sassam, salawat on Prophet Sassam. That is Allah's command. In Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna. Means that opens tremendous polishing, tremendous realities on the soul. And then imagine contemplating and asking that I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And then Allah is to open. Open from what Prophet Sassam described from holy hadith, that if my servant approaches me with voluntary worship, not the fard, the fard you have to do. <coughs> so where external scholars are not understanding internal realities, it's just that hadith is a description for every reality. That if my servant approaches me with voluntary worship, voluntary means you have to do the fard, you have to do what's obligatory. But voluntary worship means I'm coming to zikr. I'm sitting and making tafakkur. I'm reading Quran more. I'm making salawat on Prophet Sassam out of my love. Far means you have to. You have to wash. If you don't wash, you'd be a filthy person. You have to pray. All the men made it mandatory. You have to give your shahada. You have to give your zakah. You have to go for hajj. All of these you have to. But when you sit out of love, and do something out of love, <coughs> then that hadith begins to open. I become the eyes in which my servant sees. The seeing, not the eyes, but the seeing. I become the hearing. Not the eyes, because it, and the seeing is the eternal factor. I become your eternal vision. Not just your temporary eyeballs that I'm going to bury at the age of 70, but I become your eternally dress your soul with my seeing. It's huge. Nobody ever contemplates these things. They just read these things. I become the servant's hearing. You hear from the light of Allah. I become speaking. I become his breath. I become the hands in which he touches and the feet in which he moves. So much so that he merely requests something and he gives and it begins to manifest. It's the secret of all saints that they begin to teach us to do things voluntary, do things that are out of love. 
don't put your importance on what's mandatory. You have to do the mandatory. Oh, big deal. But do things extraordinary to show the love of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, love of Divine Presence. If Allah Azza grants that love, then all these realities of what can open, limitless. It's an endless ocean of reality that nobody can put a limit on to what is, what is God's hearing? What is the vision of Allah Azza wa To what degree that, that vision opens up? Is the world of light is something that can't be imagined.